So this is the Maygray theme. Uh, I'll uh, take you through the right hand. Um, it starts on D and goes up and down seven tones just for the intro. <laughs> It's easy to keep your thumb on D, and then I use the uh, second finger and third fingers for two black notes. <laughs> then goes to an F sharp, and I pass the thumb under. Thumb goes to the A, but the tune is actually the fourth finger on the E flat to D. the B flat and D. So um, this is the intro. Thumb underneath. And then uh, slow notes. Hold the B flat and the D and then you can okay, so add notes as you walk down. So B flat and D, add A, add A, add the G. So you check, you, effectively it sounds like you're going B flat, A, D. And if you want it really smooth, then you can swap fingers on it. So instead of going... Swap fingers. That's up to you. Uh, second uh, bit of that phrase. Starts on a D again, but to G. Then two black notes, F sharp and E flat. Sliding down one note. And then the thumb moves down again. Then E and B flat. To a D7 chord. So I'll play that whole tune really slowly. Sorry. tend to jump down to the fourth finger for the E flat, just so I can get back to the thumb on the D. So four, three, two, one. Um, but the three on the D, and then the thumbs on the D. They swap rolls. F sharp D. And then you do the similar thing to the B flat and D, but this time you do it on a C and an A. It's up to you whether you keep the A on all the time. Um, but I like the crunch of. And another D melodic pattern. Now, this is an F major chord, so it's actually part of a, uh, a D minor 7 chord. Uh, even though the bass is playing D major, it's okay. That's the crunch again. And then the thumb moves up to the F sharp. Two, one. And then I put my thumb under again for the G. And then hold uh, the bottom notes and it's fairly chromatic the top line. tune quite slowly and quite close up.
the very last time of that, uh, you just repeat that uh, little phrase with up a bit. Um, that's the outer parts of the melody. The middle section, um, the, uh, the bit that goes... Um, I play it in a very um, awkward way. Uh, I play my thumb uh, that slides from the C sharp to the D. And then I use 4 and 2 for the third to the top. And again, we've got the pair of notes walking down. It's a 3, and then to a 3, which don't clash. Um, you can use all sorts of fing fingerings for that. You can play thumb on the black note and second finger on the, on the D. Which is uh, much more accurate. Um, but I find that on my accordion, uh, the closer I get to the um, edge of the keys, it doesn't really work as well. Um, so if I'm going to get my thumb onto the black note, um, it really makes the keys quite hard to push. Or you can put the second finger on the C sharp. Then you'd have to play the B flattened uh, G with the fifth and fourth fingers. Again, it's more accurate, but I quite like the clumsiness of. So anyway, it's two notes, C sharp and D, then a third at the top, which in this case is B flat and G. And you just repeat that four times. And then once with a slower version. And that plays again. So it changes to an A, A and G, A and F sharp. And it's the same sort of thing, C sharp and D, but the thirds change to a C and an A at the top. And then back to the original one. Down a semitone this time, and it's a G and an A at the top. And then a D7 chord. And then 4, 3, 2, 1, something on E flat. And we're back to the beginning. Left hand, um, uh, the opening is uh, just uh, chromatic, so find your A. I do that by feeling for my E. I'll just move slightly closer to the left hand. So I find my um, A, which is next to the E, uh, and then we're going to walk down in semitone. So the first semitone obviously is quite um, small in terms of a step. And you've got to reach back for the G, and then a small one for the F sharp. So that's just that's how to play semitones. The, um, the uh, some of them, if you're going onto the counter bass row, that's the front row, it's a small step. But if you're going from counter bass to bass, I know we haven't got quite enough light in for that close. Um, counter bass to bass, that's a big, that's a big step back. I'm just going to zoom in so that I can. Stand on the light. There we are. So um, that goes from A, find the E. There it is, there's the A. And then back to the G. And that's going to be your chord. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six bars of G minor, and so D7. Um, so I'll play over the tune. And then G minor. D7. Just one, just one, because you want to leave room for the right hand to play. And the same thing, but on, G, uh, on D7. So remember it's bass, chord, chord, and then a different bass, that's the dominant, which is the next one up. So if I just do the basses, bass and then seventh, seventh, and then change the bass note to the, which is the dominant. 
I might have called it alternative based on other ideas to avoid using um, technical language, but effectively you may as well know uh, that's the dominance of the fifth note of the chord. Uh, so D, A, but still with the D7 chords. And you go back to G minor. And then leave space for the, the melody. Back to G minor again. Now if you, if you remember the right hand at this point, starts walking down. And I like the left hand to take over. So we've got that descending line uh, in the um, tune. Now if you sit down to an F sharp, you can see it takes over. And you can carry on walking down. So uh, you've been playing G minor chords. G. G minor, that is, uh, and G minor now over F sharp, over F, over E, and then a C minor chord. So once more, that's G minor, G minor, G minor, G minor over F sharp. That's the same G minor button, you just move the bass note. G minor chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, chord, G minor. Tune carries on its own, and then you stay on C minor, G minor, D7, and you, you can either do stabs or umpapas there, and then G minor. So I'll play the whole of that tune. to G minor, stay on G minor, over F sharp, C minor, now just C minors for two bars, G minor for two bars, D7, G minor. Now during the bit which, which goes in the right hand and goes like this, that's quite simple. We have G minor for ages. You can either switch the bass like that, or stay on the same bass note. Up to you. G minor to D7. Stay on D7. Back to G minor. Walk up two to A7. Sorry, I missed it. And then D7. Um, let me see if I got that right. tune and right at the end just um, before you get to the what would be the middle section again and you play D7 to G minor just as a little coda um, go to C minor for two bars G minor for two bars D7 for two bars and G minor to finish with uh, it's a nice tune. Uh, I like the crunchiness of the uh, the right hand uh, because quite often one of the, one of the notes stays still and another one moves against it. Um, 